Hello. This is just a quick note to let you know I will be streaming with the wonderful and multi-talented Milaus on Tuesday, May 16th uh, on the times listed on the right there. We are going to be continuing his vanilla railroad base. And last time, last week, we had such a wonderful time that I can't wait to do it again. So please come and say hi and let's get on with the episode. Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and we're going to take out some biters with these explosive uranium cannon shells. Um, I'm driving a tank at the moment, and hopefully, I think I drive a tank much better than I drive a car. So hopefully, we won't be in too much trouble. I do have some personal lasers on, and oh, you can't see them, but I do have like five, I think. But I really just want to see how these uh, brown, uh, these explosive things work. Okay, I'm just trying to mostly shooting the bases first. Goodness, that sound is loud, that boom. Ooh, that was not good. Okay. Try to drive by these guys. Okay, that was interesting. I don't know if it was that great, though, I have to say. Let me jump out and have my... Uh, let's get one robo port on so that we can repair this tank up. Do I have enough repair packs on me? Yep. Okay. Kind of wish I had those other shells just to test them. I, I didn't actually do that. Oh, we have research to do. Next one is, let's see, productivity eight. Or we can get lab research speed, or cluster grenades, or insert a capacity bonus, or even better, logistics slots. Uh, we could go for the atomic bomb. That's 5,000 of each science pack, though. Is there anything else we would rather have? Cannon shell. Oh, we need this. Like, fast. Like, now. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to leave that going because these are actually cannon shells that I'm using. So, yeah, we probably don't have enough damage on them at the moment, which is kind of a shame. And we could probably get some shooting speed as well. Honestly, tempted to take them out without the, the use of the tank. I should definitely not have my robots out at the moment. Yeah, go back inside. <laughs> Hide. Be safe. Uh, should I take off? I can take off one set of legs. What am I doing with legs? I can have more lasers. And I don't need the legs because I'm in a tank. Yeah. always run over these things as well. Okay, shall we go and try to get this base going on? Lasers are doing far more damage than these tank shells. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
But then again, I don't have any damage researched on them, so maybe that's why. I'm thinking, possibly. I'm just gonna run them all over for now. Woohoo! Oopsie, there's another spot I didn't get. Alright, let's repair this tank up. Do to do. Wait, do I have any more? Aw, oh, I can't build any more personal lasers, I don't think. Where are they? Yeah, I'm short of steel and laser turrets, which is funky because I should be carrying those turrets on me at all times, but it's okay. Because essentially I could remove all of my, you know, exoskeletons, all of my shields and everything. I think let's take out this, these bases here so we can bring this wall upward. Like this way. That's the new plan. Alright, let's go. Ooh, uranium glows at night. That's very cool. Oh my gosh, there's a forest here. Ugh. We go slowed by trees. No. Okay, let's get some um, shooting speed. Would also be good. Sorry, forest. Oh my god, green biters on the green uranium. That's kind of scary, <laughs> just slightly. That was a good run. Can I repair my tank while I'm in it? I always forget if you can or not. Nope. Must step out of the tank to actually repair the thing. I suppose it makes sense. Let's go. Kill these guys next. Yes. One good thing about this is it doesn't set the forest on fire, though. Oh, somebody told me a really cool thing that you can do. Oh, am I using? I must be using my ammo as well somehow. Oopsies. Get these worms out of the way. Run over a couple of spawners. <laughs> Kill all the biters. Alright. That was very good. Oh, that was a successful run, I think. Did good. Did real good. Go back to the base now. Used almost 100 shells. I think... Let's look at our bonuses. Oh, we only got plus 20% on those. I think they'll be a little bit more deadly next time, but we'll see. Uh, I don't know if I prefer killing biters this way or doing something eh, just more um, easy, but that's okay. Probably shouldn't go through the trees like this. Okay. Let's see, what else do we need? Logistics slots, that would be great. Thank you. Alright, so we're just gonna proceed to the train track area. In fact, I probably <laughs> would do better to pick the thing up and run because I'm faster anyway. Okay, let's take all the personal lasers out and instead put in my legs and my roboports. That will make me run a lot faster. There we go. And we can get our train on the tracks. 
And the cool thing is, is I can come back to that area any time and it doesn't have to be, no oh boy. Please. All right, there we go. Can't go backwards in the train. It is not advisable. Uh, but anyway, the bikers will not recolonize that area, so I can leave it for a while. I've always like disliked that part about, um, you know, the previous versions where, oh my gosh, you know, there's this huge time pressure, and what if you don't feel like putting down walls and whatnot? Yeah, now you don't have to. Now you don't even have to think about it. You just, you know, clear the area out and you're good. Um, let's see, pollution-wise. We should check on that. I have a little bit of pollution here. Um, yes, and we'll check on the evolution. I have no idea where we're at. 0.91. Uh, and as you saw in this and the last episode, we are getting plenty of behemoths out here. Um, one of the things that I was thinking out between episodes is we have all of this iron still. So uh, what I'd like to do is just basically transfer it. You know, this is already mining, already set up. All I need to do is put a train station. So let me get rid of this, whatever this is. This looks terrible. I'm not even sure what's going on. Who built this? I don't know, could have been the biters. Anyway, um, <laughs> we'll take this and put it in, um, I think what we can do, maybe what I should do is there's a little bit of iron ore here. How much is here? What I'm thinking about, if you're wondering, okay, so this iron ore here is 2.2K. What I'm thinking about is concrete and we don't need a lot of concrete, but we do need some. So yeah, that's, that's on my mind. Uh, for this, but what I'm thinking uh, with this stuff is I'd like to load an ore train and maybe I'll put it here. Maybe this is, oh, this is for what? What is this for? This is for it's supposed to be red and blue circuits or something, I think, maybe. We could put in an ore train here and this one can go to either either station and, uh, and fill with uh, with the ore that it gets from here. I don't think there's going to be a lot of ore throughput, so I'm not that worried about it. Um, hmm. See, now this is the decision. Should I put it on the end? I guess I should, I'll put it on the end. I don't mind. That's okay. We shall put it on the end. Right. And we get rid of this thing. Because right now we can move these guys change this slightly anyway uh, to be you know working the other way like for example this um, right so this is going to be what this is going to be an iron station do we have any loading stations here not really so I'd like to, let's get rid of this RoboPort for now. Oh my God, there's so many bots in here. I should write my name in bots one day. There we go. Nice, those were all Logibots, by the way. Okay, let's go to our train station area of the world. We need you, an unloading station. No, we need a loading station, don't we? We need an L that is one-sided. No. Actually, we can use we can use this one. The, the belts are the wrong way, but that'll be okay. We'll fit. Wait, do we have one somewhere? Maybe we do. We have one right here. This is another thing that I absolutely adore about this game, the new things and stuffs, <laughs> this, it's like you can take a blueprint from the universe and have it here. And it's like right there. And you know what? I didn't even have to move. There we go. Okay. You're going to go here, please. 
I'm going to build this station. And I'm also going to get my rail curve from here because I love having that rail curve. I, I kind of have a love hate relationship with the rail planner, this rail planner here. Um, sometimes it works well, sometimes it doesn't. And it annoys me when it doesn't, obviously. So it's kind of like, eh. Okay. Now that was, I needed to put that there cause my curve was a little bit off. There we go. Nice. Um, let's get our robo port here. Actually, this entire thing is in a construction zone already. So we don't even need another one. Uh, oh, wait, maybe we do. We might need one for this. Yes, we do. We need one because there are things that need to be in the robo network. Imagine that. I'm going to put this here because we need to fuel this train, this potential train. And you're going to go this way, like right there. Thank you. So my idea here is to have like iron on one side and copper on the other. Uh, and maybe I should, or I could have one car copper, two cars copper, two cars. No, I'll just have half and half. We'll just have half and half and let it load as it likes. All right. So what we do need is some long belts, which is going to be defined from here to there. Okay. And these are going to have to move. All right. Um, There we are. That'll do for that. Um, let's get this guy here going on. And this is looking really good. I just want to have one train for this. This is not going to be anything extensive by any means. Where's my book? Okay. We have the signal there. And this signal, go one here and then one there, move that along basically. Okay. So now the tricky bit is, uh, getting that iron ore and then avoiding, oh, you know what? I could actually hook up this ore here. That that's what I'll do. I will get the mining happening for this. So let's go to our, um, mm -hmm. or maybe blueprint book. Maybe that's better. Let's see what we have in the mining section of our blueprint book. Do I have reds? No, I have no reds. I sense that I might need them. I think there's some reds here. <gasps> Yay. These are reds. Okay. So guess what? Hey, reds. Oh, 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 that's not good at all. Wait, does this work? If it, no, apparently not. Fine. Take it out. Take it, take it. We'll take that one out as well. And we'll re, um, reallocate this thing to be like that instead. Get a little bit more area mined. Okay. So can get ooh, one, two, three, like this. No, that's not right here. This way, this is what we want. We want the bit with the power pole in the middle. So we'll just call this mining red belt, red belt. And I'll just use a little red belt icon for this. Go back to the world. I love that. I absolutely love that. I will never, ever get tired of that. <laughs> this idea of just like, you know, you're in one place and all of a sudden you're in the next. That is so, so dang cool. Just, just awesome. Cool. 
So this needs to be rearranged a bit. Okay. Oh, we did actually need those, didn't we? All right. Um, yeah, that's fine. I will let the robots build that. Oh, that's so good. And you're going to go, eh, we can do this, I think. Okay, I'm going to cut this off for now. Like that. Why is this not getting power? Are we just not, like, using poles or what? This is so weird. Okay, maybe that's going to be better. Okay. That's just fine with me. Hmm. Okay, it looks like we're not going to need this second one at all. I think we can just do this. In fact, what we should do is we do need to have probably the whole balancer like this and these can go there. There we go. Oh, and I forgot a splitter. No worries. Doesn't matter if you put it on either end, as long as it works. Okay, so that's that area done. Let's get a, uh, a long distance power pull up here. Hopefully to deal with some of this. And of course, that's too far. <laughs> Jeez. I'm trying to put it where it's not like in the middle of the whole everything, but I think that's, a, that's okay. We're, we're going to be fine. That was funky, funky. It's like they all started at the same time and it looked so weird. Okay. We now have the remnants of our copper patch being mined. That was the very first one that we had, I think. I don't know. It's been so long. I don't even remember. Alrighty. So this, how are we going to get this through? It looks like I could even put this on this path that we had sort of going through this way. I think that might be an okay idea. Do we need, well, we have four. I don't know if it's strictly necessary, but that's okay. Um, wait, did I, I probably didn't, did I? I was wondering if I saved that blueprint. I don't think I did. Here we go. Okay, so now we get to have a little bit of fun here. So these are the, gonna be, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Tis all good. Let's get rid of these red belts and the blue belts as well. And this one is going to go hmm. let's grab these guys, take them on down and they will go here. I love this. That is so cool. <laughs> it's so awesome. 
And this, of course, can also go the way of the dinosaur. Well, actually, I shouldn't say that because as I'm playing Birthdays the Beginning, the, the um, <laughs> dinosaurs are actually a rising species in my playthrough, so yeah. The way of the dinosaur is not yet dead. No. Okay, so let's get this going. And oh my god, no, 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 no. Wait, wait. What is in these chests? Very little, very little. Okay, I think I'll put my train down then. We need a station. Why is there no station here? Is it because I don't have a station on me? Maybe. All right, let's make a station. Oh my goodness, we are... You know what? We'll, we'll finish doing this in the next episode because unfortunately we are out of time in this one. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.